All right, gamers, today we are going to be talking about the state of Clash Royale. I know I'm not playing Clash Royale today because frankly, I don't want to. I think the game is in a horrible state. But another bad, big no-no just happened in Clash Royale, which I kind of want to talk about because it sets a precedent that is not very good for games. <clears throat> so, banning players for abusing a bug is in some ways reasonable, right? In Clash Royale's case, there, oh, what is the spell doing? <laughs> in Clash Royale's case, there have been several times where gameplay based bugs have been abused, like people placing a balloon on the King Tower, stuff like that. I've been there for that, I've seen it all. Nobody really got banned for any of that. But, for those of you who don't know, to put it into context, there was a bug recently in Clash Royale that is now fixed, I, I believe, where if you have a star drop, it's it's a, called a lucky drop, they just ripped off star drops, they basically are the same thing, except you get less lucky drops, but they have better rewards. So, if you open a lucky drop and you don't like what you see, you turn the Wi-Fi off. Or maybe you have it off from the start, I don't really know, but you just turn the Wi-Fi off at some point, and <laughs> Angelo is insane. I'll get racked, dude. Yeah, but yeah, you turn the Wi-Fi off and it resets the rewards, you can reopen the game and r just redo it. Which is interesting to me because before, uh, chests and stuff used to be predetermined. So, like, when you get the lucky drop, it would just already know what you're going to be getting. Like, w that, that would have already fixed the problem if they were just kind of like chests in that way where it already picks what you're getting when you unlock it. But that's not how it is. So because of that, if you're able to just restart the game in that way, you could just get what you want by restarting it over and over and over and over again. So that's what people were doing. And... At first, the players who did that got a 31-day ban, which is reasonable because, you know, it's a glitch and people are abusing it. They can do that. They can also permanently ban people. And in the grand scheme of things, players are getting, like, 0.001% of maximum progression on their account, even with, like, the best reward because of how bad the progression system is. It takes... No, no, no. It will take forever. <laughs> until the day you die to max out in Clash Royale free to play. So, players gaining 0.1% of their progression because of this bug are getting permanently banned. Even players who have spent thousands upon thousands of dollars progressing this game get a 0.01% progression buff banned forever just from one little glitch that <laughs> if that frankly was was their mistake which I don't know, to me, getting permanently banned for something that was somebody else's mistake that you're just using seems really stupid to me. And I don't I don't want to sound like mean about it, but it just kind of sounds like bullshit. Like, I do not think that's cool at all. Like, if I was a game dev and I made a mistake, I wouldn't ban everybody for using my mistake. I mean, I wouldn't permanently ban them. I'm sure, like, banning them for a month is fine. Like, that definitely teaches the lesson. You're unable to progress for an entire month. That will take away more progression than you gained from the bug in the first place. So the 31 day ban was fine. But they changed it to a perma ban. Originally, everybody saw 31 days, and then they log back in, and then it says perma. So they actually changed it, which is crazy to me. I don't know. It's just, it, that just seems so weird. And especially considering there have been so many, like, gameplay based bugs that did not result in bans. But as soon as they lose, like, a dollar? Literally, it's not even that much, because, like, the, the best reward you can get is a book of books, but that was a couple bucks before. And nowadays, there's way more stuff to spend it on, too, so it's even less value. I don't know. But yeah, before any non-progression-based bug, stuff that would literally break the game that people would abuse like crazy until the day they fixed it, no ban. That just makes it, like, look even worse. In a way, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. Brawl Stars also had a bug like that. A progression-based bug. We're gonna lose. A progression-based bug that, uh... Where is everybody? People had to buy a $2 offer, and it gave them, like... I, I bought this offer, too. I did do that. It gave, like, 140 mega boxes at the time, which was insane. But you had to spend money for it, and they removed it within, like, a few minutes. It was wild. I'm so fucked, dude. This is so back and forth! 5v5 is sick. I love 5v5. 
Look at this, dude. This gameplay is so good. I hope it stays. I'm kind of sad that it's like always a weekend event, though. Yeah, I did buy that 140 thing offer, and nobody got banned for that because I'm sure, you know, the teams are different, the way they operate are different. They probably realize, oh, we fucked up. People just bought this offer. And in that way, it's different because you had to buy the offer. I'm sure that makes it completely different. Maybe if there was a way to, like, reset your brawl boxes, then they would have banned people for that. But would they have banned people permanently? I just don't know. That's just, that's such a big punishment. Like, that's on the same level as account sharing or breaking, like, the biggest things in the TOS. And yes, this is in their TOS. So technically, they have every right to permaban. But going immediately to permabanning, even with people who have never done anything before, is it's just a very uh, a very strong choice, if that makes sense. You know, like these are dedicated players just using a glitch, even one time, I believe. I think some people said that they only did it like once and they got permabanned. That's just really that's a really strong thing to do. Somebody was like, no, 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 do not let these players ever play this game again. They're ruining the game. <laughs> it's so wild. I, I, I wonder, like, why it changed from 31 days to perma, because 31 days was perfectly fine, and it's, it sets the precedent that you shouldn't do that again. And they're also losing the progression that they just gained, because they're losing so much time. A month of progression is a lot. We're kind of rolling these guys. Come here, squeak. Yes, okay, now let me just put this, like, right here. And then we're Jay chilling. Oh, look at that. Look at that splash. Yes. Wait, my thing. No. Wait, kid, get wrecked. Ayo. <sighs> Fuck. No. Melody? You can't hit me, dude. If you just walk into Melody, she can't do shit. <laughs> but if she's, like, a good player, then she's... She fucks you up. There we go. This Doug is Pog. I love this guy. He's healing me so much. What are you gonna do, Melody? Oh, I just whiffed so hard. She's so ass! <laughs> Kit, get the hell back here! You know, whatever. Where's Piper going? Wait, this is a surprisingly even match. They're actually kind of winning? I don't know where that's coming from. Hey, Nani. Is it the Nani that, that's the reason? It is! Hey! Kill the Nani! Sick! Oh, shit! I didn't see her! I thought she was dead. Good job, Doug! Doug, my guy, my boy. Okay, they're coming back, though. It is so back and forth. We got some gems, though. Doug, you are the, the man. Let's go. Kill the Nani. Sick. Thank you, turret. Wait, we're losing now? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, my God. We're super losing. But I'm huge. Look at these shots. Uh-oh. Fuck. <gasps> I wanted to put the turret down. Uh-oh. I don't think we're coming back from this. I think I only died two times this whole match. I think I feel like I was holding my ground, but but it's still very close. But that is 5v5. I, I just, I love this mode. Even if it's back and forth, even if it's gem grab, I don't care. I just fucked up my uh, turret. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, I got the hypercharge one as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Fuck them up. Oh. We still win. 31 gems. This is 5v5, boys. This is epic. And that right there is the state of Clash Royale. Honestly, I feel like they realize Clash Royale is not doing so hot right now, and that's why they decided to add lucky drops and just good features that Brawl Stars currently has. Maybe Clash Royale will start making some big changes soon, and in some ways they actually have been. Like, Tower Troops is something that some people have been waiting for for a very long time. Evolutions are being spammed. Not enough champions are coming out, in my opinion, compared to Evolutions, but still, Evolutions are like a good concept. They just made them too overpowered to where if you don't pay then you're fucked because they're so unattainable because you have to wait i think is it six months to get one single one unless they give you a handout it's something like that it's a crazy amount and with them releasing new ones every couple months it's a little wild the progression system in that game is just going even further downhill and it's already been one of the worst ones i've seen so i hope clash around makes some kind of turnaround like brawl stars did because brawl stars was in a really bad spot for a while and then suddenly the game blew up and it's still on the top so i i just still hope that brawl stars stays on the top that would be good because that's my game but i also want clash royale to be doing good too and every other supercell game because you know it's supercell why would i not want their games to do good
that would be a very bad thing, especially for somebody like me. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the whole Clash Royale situation. Brawl Stars, superior right now, and I'll see you later.